I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and uh, uh, dear viewer I hope that uh, the Lord has kept you well and you are fine in the Lord I would like to welcome you once more to our 100 days of prayer series and today being day 53 of uh, the 100 days of prayer we are focusing on commit, committing to friends. My name is, a servant, is a Samuel Mwangi, a servant of God in New Life District. And I would like to welcome each and every one of you, who, my dear viewer who is watching, so that we can continue worshipping the Lord in truth and in spirit. Today, uh, before we lead our verse, we would like to invite you in our so that we can pray and ask the Holy Spirit to abide with us. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we come before thy throne of grace at this moment, thanking you for this Father that you have brought us. Today we are in day 53 of our 100 days of prayer, and we have seen your hand uh, through this, and uh, Jehovah God, you have been answering our prayers, and we anticipate uh, for your answers in the prayers that even we will submit to thy able throne today. I commit my dear viewer into thy able throne. May you be with him or her. And as he continues to listen to me, Father, I pray that you may touch my lips and anoint them so that whatever will come from my mouth will be anointed by thee and will be inspired by thee and will enable us, Father, to draw even closer and closer to thee. Thank you for your faithfulness and thank you for answering our prayers. For we are pretty shortly believing and trusting in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Committing to friends is our topic for today. And uh, our key verse it comes from the book of Proverbs 18, verse 24. Proverbs 18, verse 24. And I would like you to open uh, your scripture, your Bible, so that we can read. Um, it's good that you co we compare notes with our, um, our translations that we have and our versions. I'm reading from the New King James Version and I hope that uh, you will be able to follow suit with the version that you have. The book of uh, Proverbs 18 verse 24, the Bible says that a man who has friends must himself be friendly. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. I repeat, a man who has friends must himself be friendly. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Many a times it's uh, when situations that we get ourselves into where uh, sometimes we are closer to friends uh, than even to some of our family members. And uh, this is uh, an aspect that we can see uh, through Jonathan. Jonathan, by birth, uh, he was the heir to the throne, yet knowing himself set aside by the divine decree to his rival, the most tender and faithful of friends, shielding David's life at the peril of his um, own. The name of Jonathan um, is, is, it has a very wonderful meaning in this aspect because it means treasured in heaven. And I want to believe that this meaning um, was portrayed by the behavior that Jonathan had. Jonathan, we remember, shielded David who was anointed by God to take the place of uh, Paul, or, of, or Saul, sorry. When Saul uh, uh, did what was against the will of God, um, he was told that his uh, government or his reign was over and someone else would, have, uh, would take his praise. And this was David who was to take his praise. And remember, um, the reign was to be taken all, uh, by Jonathan after, after, after Saul. Jonathan was the one, was the first uh, son of, of Saul and he was the one to take the throne. But in spite of that, 
and in spite him knowing that that was the fact, he supported someone who was to take the throne and that was David. And he knew very well that if David did not come, he was the one to take the throne. But he supported and it stands on as a witness. The, the meaning which is uh, 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 for Jonathan, it takes, uh, uh, stands on as a witness to the existence of the power of unselfish love. Jonathan had unselfish love towards David. Have you ever experienced such kind of love? And as we speak of having a, a friendship that is beyond brotherly friendship, have you ever experienced this kind of love? A love where someone loves you more than even your brother loves you. Someone who loves you more or who is committed to you more than even your friends or your relatives are committed to you. Friendship had a spiritual quality. This friendship of, of Jonathan and David had a spiritual relation. It had a spiritual, uh, a spiritual tie. Their, their, their friendship, the, David, the friendship of David and Jonathan was based on a holy covenant of mutual um, uh, spiritual support and commitment. The question that I, sh I, I can ask you or I want to ask you today is that have you ever had such kind of friendship? Are you a spiritual friend to someone else? And can you commit yourself to being a friend to someone where you will, uh, 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 when you, where you will commit yourself to, to as you will raise one another in spirituality? Because our friendship must not be just mutual in physical activities only. Our friendships should uprift one another spiritually. It, our friendship should help us to spiritually develop uh, 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 one another by putting personal personal desires and pressures aside and committing time and love to support our friends in our walk with Christ. This is the ideal friendship that we should have. Jonathan had this kind of friend, a friendship with David. He committed himself to be very close to David, such that even if there are physical things that he was to lose, he did not consider them as more important than the relationship that they had with David. They had a very mutual relationship with David, such that they, he could even support David in the, this aspect. Brethren, it is high time that we look for friends who are closer to us, friends who nourish us spiritually. It is a time that you seek for a friend where you will approve that friend spiritually, where you will assist one another to develop in your spiritual life. Brethren, today I would like to, invo to ask you that may God help you and may Christ be in you. That as even as we continue helping one another or uh, uh, enhancing our relationship with God, our relationship with Christ, that we will have friends whom we will be able to uh, be drawn closer to one another and also to help one another draw closer to Christ. This is my prayer today. As we pray, let us pray for our friends, especially those close friends, so that when when we are even socializing, we will socialize in a way that we will draw closer to God. And let us pray that God will give us the spirit of true friendship. Because we, we may not even realize who is a true friend and who is a, a, a friend who is there, uh, a friend with benefit or a friend who is there so that he can benefit from us. But through prayer and through the intervention of the Holy Spirit, I'm sure that we will be able to, 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 to understand or we will be able to know who are true friends and who, uh, who which friends we are supposed to continue our friendship with. Let us uh, 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 continue
trusting in the Lord so that he can continue showing us who to relate with and who to be friends with. May God bless you today and let us continue praying for our neighbors. And remember Jesus Christ explained our neighbors are those who are in need. Let us continue praying for them, those who are affected by this disease and let us uh, and those who are in the forefront to fight this disease so that they can be able to uh, uh, being, uh, to be safeguarded and they can be able to work towards the, uh, 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 the, 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 the good cause or towards this good cause and at the end of it all we will all join hands to thank God for we will have come out of this uh, uh, um, um, uh, victorious and uh, we will praise God for what he has done for us. I want to invite you in uh, the session of prayer. I know you have your prayer request that you have submitted before the throne of grace. I know that you have your needs. I know you have intercessory uh, prayers that you have towards someone, a friend you know, a relative who is sick, or someone else who is in need. Or, and uh, I know God is faithful and he will hear our prayers as far as we will pray in faith. May you join me in prayer through faith so that we can um, uh, uh, intercede for those who uh, uh, need our intervention. May we pray. Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we thank you for this day that you have given unto us. Thank you for great is thy faithfulness. Indeed, you are a friend to us because you are very close to us and even you are closer than even the ones whom we have been born with. Jehovah God, it is a high time that we develop even closer ties with you as our friend to start with. And also, Jehovah God, it is a, a time that we should have friendship with our friends which uh, uh, draw each one of us closer to thee. We pray for your intervention in this so that we will have friends like Jonathan and David so that Jehovah God will put aside our selfish things, we will put aside our selfish uh, admiration, our selfish uh, motives that comes together with friendship and we will be able to be true friends who will fight for one another in times of need and we will be a stick to closer to one another such that we will support one another spiritually. Thank you because you are faithful and I know you will enable us to do that. We bring forth, uh, I bring forth uh, b before the throne of grace my dear viewer who is viewing me at this moment may you remember him or her in a special way i intercede for him or her may you remember the mood of a god there is prayer request that they have in their hearts father i pray that may you answer those prayer requests in, in accordance to thy will i know there is the prayers that they have posted before the throne of grace and there are prayers that jehovah god they have not yet posted but you know because you are all knowing Jehovah God, may you answer them according to your riches in glory. And more to that, Father, I pray that you may shield us from the stings of the evil one. May you remember this country as they go through this difficult time in this pandemic of uh, 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 pandemic of uh, uh, COVID-19. Jehovah God, I pray that you may intervene for them. And may you be with the government. May you be with the uh, physicians. May you be with the medical uh, frontiers who are working day and night to see that they have curbed this um, uh, pandemic and uh, the spread of this pandemic and also they have uh, uh, treated those who are sick. May you be with them, O oh God, and may you provide the resources that are needed for the glory and honor of your name. May you continue being with us and uh, may you continue being with the leadership of the church also. And as we encourage those who are low in spirit, may you help us and equip us to that good cause. It is in Christ Jesus we have prayed and given thanks. Amen and amen. May God bless you and I pray for you. I will pray for you and I ask you, I would like, request you to subscribe to our channel for daily sermonets and also for prayer sessions. Send your prayer requests in the links and we will be able to join together in prayer and also send, share this video to a friend so that he can, or she can be blessed the same way you have been blessed. May God bless you and we wish you all the best and God's guidance and shield to, uh, to be upon you now and forevermore in Jesus name I ask amen amen